Is it buying a property in the UK? You need information. If you're a novice, buying a property in the UK, I bet listen to me. I'm doing this on, on demand. Buying a property in the UK, you need information to go around it. I have made the comprehensive video. I've posted the video before, comprehensive one, on how to go about it. Now, the first thing you need to do is to get a mortgage broker. This is the same. Mortgage broker is the person that's going to help you with the checks. He's going to take your details and carry out the checks for you to come up with AIP, agreement in principle. That agreement in principle is to say, okay, a lender is willing to borrow you X amount of money based on what you say you are and who you say you are. What you say you earn and X, etc., etc. You understand? That is not your mortgage approval yet. That doesn't mean your mortgage is approved, approved yet after the AIP. It is after the AIP that the, uh, the mortgage advisor will now submit your mortgage application. You understand me? Now, there is this thing I want you to understand very critically. If you are interested in a particular property, maybe a new built property or an old one or whatever, you are interested in it. Depos I mean, receiving the property is not the first thing. I have done this video before and I have two people that have come to me with the same question and they have issue. They had issue because they have taken the step that they are supposed to take the third step that they are supposed to take, they've taken it first. You understand? Receiving a property, it's not the first thing. If you receive a property, by the time you get to the builder, you walk up to the builder, to their sales and marketing suite, you walk up to them, you say you're interested in this, all right, this and that and that, you want to reserve this property. They will take the money from you. But always make sure you check whether that money is refundable should your mortgage not pull through. Always make sure you check with them. Ask them questions. The paper you are going to sign, make sure it states clearly whether you are going to lose X amount of money from that your depot, from that uh, money you used to reserve the property. If they t Because sometimes they won't tell you. Some will tell you, some won't tell you. They will just give you the paper. But because you are so anxious, you are so eager, you want to get the property, you won't bother, you just sign, and that's it. And if you're, if unfortunately your mortgage did not pull through, you had already forfeited that money you, you, you reserved the property with. In few cases, or let me say in a whole lot of cases, right? The builder will refund you if your mortgage did not pull through. They may not refund the totality of the money, but at least they will give you nothing less than 80 to 85 to 90 percent of the money. If after 14 days or 21 days, your mortgage did not prove true, they will tell you, okay, out of 1,000, you will forfeit 150, for example. But in some situations, if it's not stated clearly, you might lose the totality of the money. And that is the reason why I've said to you, it is not the first thing to reserve a property. The first thing to do is to get a mortgage broker. Who will first of all run the checks for you, whether you are even, whether you even be eligible, whether you go even, whether you go even pass the affordability checks, whether you go even pass the eligibility checks, you need that mortgage broker. I have recommended Glad Eels. I'm Glad Eels. I've just posted their contact on the, on the screen. Just in case you are interested, they are very, very good. They will not even charge you anything at the onset. Maybe during your conversation, they might decide to now tell you how much they're going to charge you, but they are very good. And I've recommended them for several people and they have, those people have purchased their properties through Glad Eels. You understand? Speak to them. Speak to them. They will ask you. They will collect your details and help you. There's nothing wrong in trying something. But going to put £1,000 to reserve a property is not the first thing. You could, you could be wrong. Sometimes you think you are eligible, but you are not eligible. Sometimes you think you are, you are not eligible, but you are eligible. But that check has to be run. That affordability checks and eligibility checks, all of these things has to be run. You don't have to have your indefinite leave to remain before you can buy a property. People on two and a half years can buy property. On two and a half years, uh, resident permit can buy property. People on uh, the tier, the, this tier, tier three or tier two, so long they have job, they can buy property. You don't need to have your indefinite leave to remain, to, have, to, to buy a property. You don't need to become a British citizen before you can buy a property. They don't need to see that you are consistent in work. Once this check is run and you pass the eligibility and affordability checks, you understand, there is always a lender somewhere who is willing to borrow you a specific amount of money. 
And whatever amount of money that lender is willing to borrow you is the property you are buying. If a lender is borrowing you 300,000 pounds, willing to borrow you 300,000 pounds, you are buying property within that amount. If you are buying property outside of that amount, that means you are ready to put the difference. Understand this. I don't just want to be going around and be reading this person's message. Now, I've been asking the person, did you sign any agreement? Was it stated that the deposit, I mean, the, the money will be, re will be refunded? Should your mortgage not put through? The person said no. They didn't say that to him. Did you sign any agreement? You understand those kind of things? So you need to understand this to the latter because the people you are dealing with, they get brain. The people don't even want to give you the money before. They don't even want to give you the money. So understand that. Even if they are, even if you go and reserve a property, they tell you, say you go lose 50% of that money. Oh, should your mortgage not put through after 21 days, you still carry your ego, put the money down. How are you sure you are going to even pass the eligibility check and affordability check? So take first thing first. First thing first. The journey of a thousand kilometer begins with one step. Your first step is to get a mortgage broker that will carry out the eligibility, help you to carry out the eligibility and affordability checks. Before you can now go ahead and go and be searching for property. And once you find the property, you now reserve the property. And that's it. Please understand this very well. Let me to share this video. There are a whole lot of people who need this piece of information that I've given. Don't just be selfish by taking and, uh, you know, taking the message alone. Share it around. Let it go around. I'm still going to be dropping more messages. I'm going to be dropping more information with regard to purchasing properties in the UK. I'm going to be coming so very vast. Because there are a lot of changes that are coming to the property market now within the UK settings, which I'm going to be updating you with next to no time. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.